Super J Mad Mike, welcome you guys to another kick-ass video. As always, we're trying to bring you the coolest videos on YouTube regarding WWE and wrestling stuff. This time we're bringing to you guys another video to show you another era of professional wrestling. Um, WWE and WCW were pretty much the top of the wrestling world for much of the 90s. But in mid the mid-1990s, an organization called ECW started to go on pay-per-view and started to get uh, TV contracts and started to uh, pull in some big-time talent from uh, WWF and WCW. A lot of guys got different opportunities in ECW. They were able to be vocal and to really, you know, um, blossom in their characters, like uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He went to ECW after uh, getting fired by WCW, um, was doing these kick-ass promos, um, putting WCW down, showed he had a lot of heart, and a wrestler was exactly what, what, what he was and what he was uh, made to be. And just like Cactus Jack, you had other guys become legends in the business, like Tommy Dreamer had a big-time career in ECW, The Sandman had a big following, also Rob Van Dam. And then also ECW had got closed down and bought out by Vince McMahon in early 2001, and they were unheard of for another five years until ECW returned in 2006, and you got a watered-down Vince McMahon WWE version of ECW, but you still had some characters that blossomed in that ECW, like CM Punk, Kofi Kingston, you also had guys that returned back to ECW, like Cactus Jack. Even Christian came back to WWE. He was under the ECW brand. He won the ECW title, just like Matt Hardy was an ECW champion uh, in the WWE back in 2008. But uh, just two great gener generations of wrestling. Like I said, they were an alternative type of sports entertainment that uh, you really weren't seeing in the WWE or the WCW in the mid-1990s. And it was really what started the Attitude Era, in my opinion, because Vince McMahon realized that there was fans out there that were looking for an alternate, alternative type of wrestling, and Vince McMahon was going to have to change with the times, and he did. As you know, he came out with the hardcore title and stuff like that. He had signed other big ECW stars over the years, like Rob Van Dam, Taz, you know, the list goes on and on. But uh, we have some of the greats. We're going to start out from the left back, if you could there, Mad Mike. When the ECW got reincarnated, uh, some of the guys started out there just like NXT today. It was kind of like a proving ground. And Kofi Kingston had his opportunity in ECW, and uh, he eventually made it to Raw a year after uh, in ECW back in 2008. Next to him, we've got Christian, who left the WWE in 2005 and ended up returning in 2009. He left for four years, won the TNA NWA Championship, ended up coming back to WWE, and he went straight to ECW, was ECW Champion, and eventually made his way back onto the SmackDown brand. Next to him, we've got a guy who was on SmackDown, but when ECW restarted, Vince McMahon was looking for talent to put into ECW that had, you know, um, creativity and had craziness, and the Boogeyman was one of those guys that Vince McMahon put back in ECW to uh, go ahead and add a little bit of spice to the uh, ECW brand. But uh, starting out on the front left, if you're there, good man, Mike. You got tag team back in ECW, back in the original ECW. You got the innovator of violence. You've got Tommy Dreamer. You also have the hardcore legend, Terry Funk. Terry Funk was the first ECW champion. I'm sorry, not the first ECW champion. He won the ECW championship on the first ever ECW pay-per-view. Next to him, you got CM Punk with the ECW title that he held. CM Punk started out in WWE in 2006, and he was under the ECW brand. And WWE didn't really know what to do with him, and they uh, didn't think that he had what it takes to make it as a top guy in this business. And Paul Heyman took him in in ECW and made a star out of him. And through the hard work, CM Punk became a top member, a, w, a ECW champion, and eventually made it to Raw um, after winning Money in the Bank 
ended up cashing in that title, winning the World Heavyweight Championship over on Monday Night Raw in 2008. It went back from Raw to SmackDown and basically won the title for each shows and became a legend in the business, CM Punk. Currently doesn't wrestle in the WWE, but certainly one of the greatest ever. Next to him, we've got Cactus Jack, who was uh, let go by WCW in 1994, or I believe he might have quit. But nonetheless, Cactus Jack made his way into ECW before he made his way into WWE. In 1995, Cactus Jack went into an ECW ring and had some crazy-ass matches, some barbed wire matches. We've got him here with the barbed wire bat and the Do Not Enter sign. But Cactus Jack, one of the craziest, craziest sons of bitches you've ever seen. He was a part of ECW, believe it or not. Check back some cool ECW shows back from 1995, and you'll see Cactus Jack on there. Next to him, we've got Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy uh, was made his way back to ECW for the first time in 2008 and became the ECW champion in 2009. He was champion for probably about six months before the company closed a year later. But uh, Matt Hardy proved that he could be a main eventer, maybe not for Raw or SmackDown, but certainly for ECW for a smaller type brand. Next to him, we've got the Sandman. The Sandman was one of those ECW originals. He used to come out drinking beer, smoking cigarettes, and smashing beers on his head, bleed all over the place, badass music, one hardcore kick-ass guy. You see the mean look on his face. He was one mean son of a bitch. Came out with a kendo stick, beat the hell out of you, drank his beer, smoked his cigarettes, and left. Next to him, we've got one of the greatest ever, in my opinion. He started out in ECW and made a name for himself was the longest reigning television champion in ECW history. Was also an ECW tag team champion along with Sabu. Um, they eventually had a rivalry against one another. RVD fought for ECW all the way through the company's closing in early 2001. Made it to WWE during the invasion angle in 2001, shortly after winning the Intercontinental title. Won a WWE and ECW title in 2006 and uh, ended up leaving professional wrestling for a few years after his longtime wife had gotten cancer. But uh, I believe her health is better now and uh, comes back from wrestling from time to time. But uh, certainly one of the greatest ever and maybe a little bit ahead of his time if you ask me. But uh, certainly RVD, a Hall of Famer. If there was ever a Hall of Fame, a lot of these guys in this ECW shelf would be in it. But uh, please tell us what your favorite ECW wrestler of all time was. And please comment below what your favorite match was of ECW and why. So uh, thanks a lot for watching the Wrestle Cave. Be part of something special. Subscribe if you haven't. And thanks a lot for watching the video. See you guys later.